Hey, it's Micah from the two LDS archives back with another video. Micah's mission story. I'll be putting these up five at a time and I'll be putting them into a completely separate playlist entitled Micah's Mission Stories. If you don't like them, just ignore them. If you do enjoy them, check out the playlist. I'll put them up five at a time and um, hopefully uh, they will increase your testimony of the Savior. And uh, as always, a Pharisee joke. Two Pharisees walk into a bar. First Pharisee says, I hate these Pharisee jokes. They're offensive. Second Pharisee says, I know. Let's complain. The end. Now, the story. In this story, I would like to talk about an event that happened on my mission in my very first area in North Philadelphia. My companion told me to pray to know where we needed to go tracting. And I always, was always really uncomfortable with this early on in my mission. So I prayed and prayed and prayed. And what I started to do was I would get a map of our area and I would put an outline around it. So that's what I would do in all my areas uh, with a marker to show our area. And then I would pray looking at the map. That night, I wasn't getting anything praying at the map. And when it was time for bed, I prayed and I said, God, please help me know where I need or we need to go. I went to bed and as I was sleeping, I had a dream. And in the dream, I see a building in front of me and on the building is painted a word in a box. There was a rectangle and a word written in it. And then somebody was talking to me. And I don't know who it was that was talking to me, but, then, but they tell me, this is where you need to go tracting. So I walk up closer to this wall with the box and I read it and it says silver. But it's not a street sign. It's painted on to a brick building. That's interesting. So I wake up and I think it's interesting. So I write it down. The next day during personal study, I'm looking over my map of my area looking for a silver street i can't find it in my area so i think maybe this was a dud maybe i just dreamed something really weird that was at the same time really spectacular and then all of a sudden i find it it's a tiny little street and it's in the dead bottom left of our area so southwest in the area i tell my companion that that's where we need to go tracting but our apartment is on the far eastern side of our area on the street there, 20th and Lehigh. So he, my trainer, thinks that I, uh, as a new trainee, I just wanted to go to Silver Street because it's on the complete opposite side of the area that it will take a long time to get there, to walk there. Thus, it would chew up time and tracting time, right? So I could not get him to agree to go there. So... Finally, I just told him about my dream. I told him that I prayed to know where to go. Then I had this dream where somebody tells me to go track there. I even told him about the street name being painted on the building. So he goes, okay, fine. We will go down and check this out. So we're walking. And I think we even took a bus to get there because it was that far away. We finally turn onto the street, but we can't figure out if this is actually the street because there's no street sign. And we look up, and you guessed it, painted on the side of a brick building was the word Silver Street. Now, he was training me. He knew that I had never been there. He himself had never been there because we both had been what was called doubled into the area. We opened it. There had been no missionaries in that area of Philadelphia for years. My, my trainer then looked up at the building, then back at me, and then back to the building, and then back at me. And he said, is that what you saw? And I said, yes, that is exactly what I saw. And he looked around again and said, and I quote, we are going to find a baptism on this street. And I thought it was a little amusing. He was a little late to the party on that one. I knew we were going to find somebody here because that's where God wanted us to be. And you always hear this, the joke in the church. It's the last house on the left. 
But in this case, it was literally the last house on the left. In Philadelphia, you would track, and the row homes were attached to each other. And he would track one side, and I would track the other. So I was tracked in the left side. My trainer was tracked in the right side in this case. I knocked on the last house on, on the left. And the lady answered and said, Oh, elders, oh my goodness, what are the odds? And then she goes on to explain, I'm a member of the church, but I'm from Baltimore. And I'm here visiting my cousin, who's not a member. So we go in and teach her, the cousin. And she was eventually baptized. She had six kids. And at that point in time, the North Philadelphia building was next to Burger King. The, the building next to Burger King, it was actually being constructed. So we had to bus all the way to northeast Philadelphia, which was about 45 minutes to an hour and a half one-way trip up to that building. So we actually helped this family get up there. We paid for their bus fare and everything. And when we got up there, we had these six kids. I And they were getting really tired. I mean, they were getting really tired uh, because it had been a long trip. So I put one of these kids on my shoulders. And our African first counselor in the ward comes out of the building. And then he starts to get really emotional when he saw us coming up. And he said to me, I just saw fulfillment to prophecy. I wasn't really sure what he was referring to. Was he just talking about missionary work? But it was fast and testimony meeting. And this man stands up and bears his testimony. And he talks about this event, this seeing me walking to the church with this kid on my shoulders. And he quotes a scripture about how missionaries will go out. How beautiful in the mountains are the feet of those who proclaim the gospel. And that they would gather up the children and put them on their shoulders and carry them to Zion. I was 19 at the time. And I had never read that scripture in that context before. I thought that was pretty cool. For the rest of my mission, I never put children on my shoulders because I didn't want to inflate my own ego. But I thought about that moment a lot and that it was a pretty cool moment. Obviously, all the baptisms followed after that. Things we can learn from this. God is a God of miracles. The missionaries of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania were a part of fulfilling prophecy. The field is white, ready to harvest. If you ask prayer, if you knock, it shall be given you. I also learned early on my mission that the Lord has people he wants us to find and that he will bring us to them if we are worthy. This was important because I never received such a powerful and unique answer to prayer again on my mission i had to learn how to listen to the still small voice of revelation i had to learn how to hear him and grow i also learned that you have to work after receiving the revelation you have to go to the map you have to do some work yourself and then follow the revelation to the t I testify that this is a true story, and I share it with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.